How are you all doing? Um, just wanted to give you a, a, a last minute reminder. Um, I've done another uh, vlog just regarding that, the fact that we're phasing out our designer training program because we have a newer uh, version, of basically an evolution of that uh, that's going to start being rolled out uh, from the summertime onwards. Um, in the meantime, like I said, if anybody wants to design a training program, let us know, book it in as quick as you can, um, because like we, we are going to stop doing it come around the summertime. Um, for anybody that isn't aware of what the designer training program is, I'm just going to give you a quick um, look at this. Even yesterday, I had a call from a consultant where they had a project um, where they have space heating, space cooling requirements and some domestic water requirements. Um, and um, they were just going to replace chiller. The chillers were, were old. They they need to increase capacity. They need to change the chillers. Um, but they also have a heating demand um, where they were using boilers. And he has considered um, using multifunctional heat pumps because we explained he can get an element of the heating for free, if not all of it, depending on what's required and when. Um, <clears throat> Now, he was concerned about if the heating connect, uh, circuit isn't connected immediately, can it still work? And of course it can. So I just want to give you a quick <clears throat> uh, brief um, overview of the multifunctional heat pumps. So I'm literally going to skip. This is um, part of our designer training program, part one. So I'm literally going to skip on down here to show you the various modes of operation. OK, so we covered all the various um, design criteria and um, considerations that you may have. Um, and then the modes of operation, okay? So here we go. You have three modes of operation, okay? So you have cooling only, where basically all the um, your circuits are basically dedicated to providing cooling only. So you can see you have two heat exchangers, one for the cooling, one for the heating, and the heating is not being used when you are acting in cooling mode. So basically it's acting like a chiller, plain and simple, okay? Second mode of operation, um, you can have heating only when you have no cooling requirement, okay? So purely heating, and you can see the evaporator is not being used, so there's no cooling, okay? So it can work in that mode as well. Or, of course, when you have simultaneous cooling and heating at the same time, you can see the outer, what was a condenser or an evaporator, those outer air coils are not being used. And in this mode of operation, you're basically doubling your efficiency um, because you're getting space heating and space cooling, um, or basically chill water and warm water at the same time, okay? Um, so obviously you have a total efficiency ratio, which is typically more than double your energy efficiency ratio. So it's a very, very uh, efficient method um, of generating your space heating, space cooling at the same time because you're getting one for free. So like I said, just a very, very brief uh, preview there for anybody that hasn't seen this um, to date. Um, we do talk, we go on to talk about the selection software and how it shows you the data. And we talk about low profiles and I won't go into much more of that for the moment. Okay, so just to give you a bit of an overview. So if you are considering multifunctional heat pumps for an application and you're concerned that they will only, you may only have a particular load at a given time or you may be adding on, that's no problem whatsoever. They will act to satisfy your space cooling only, space heating only, or domestic hot water, whichever you want, whenever you want it, okay? By the way, there is another method of generating higher temperature, your domestic hot water, um, with an add-on um, of a water to water booster. So again, we cover all that in the designer training program. Any questions at all, just come back to me and let me know. Um, my email, peter.mcmahon at elcl.e or call the office on 01-8255-155.